इंतजाम करके आता चंद्रकला दुखी न होना चंद्रकला तुम जो अपनी आवाज खो बैठे हो भगवान का संकेत है कि मैं जी कर मरने के बजाय मर के जी speaking from rajkumar studio which is one of the finest film studios in india and uh, i'm here to meet on your behalf the illust- its illustrious builder and the great filmmaker dr v shantaram he is just 82 years young he joined the film industry over 6 decades ago and he is as dedicated and devoted to his art as now take to films as a career or a mission and six decades ago you have to you are taking me back about about 65 years or something like that you see when i left high school i was really in search of career no doubt first i became a uh, fitter in a railway workshop at hubli at the same time side by side in the evening i used to be a doorkeeper in the cinema also then i was working with a photographer also so i wanted a career and for that to see uh my one of my maternal elder brother babar pendarkar he too had taken one picture which has been produced by my guru babar painter at that time he asked me say why don't you take me there say and so he asked me to come there and that's the way that uh, i joined it as a career no, but uh, if you joined as a career how does it happened that your very first directorial vehicle netaji palkar had a very relevant uh, story for the time in which it was made i, I remember to have seen the film in my childhood oh so well, i have been seeing all the films since then uh, one thing that after i joined this film film the film medium i thought that this medium must be used for the betterment of our society and our country that feeling i got it and uh, at that time you see our chatrapati shivaji was very popular you see and now now still it is very popular among the marathians and not only marathians but all over india i thought that i should take a patriotic 
uh, theme. Because uh, you know that, say, that we were under British rule and we wanted to do indirectly create some atmosphere to fight against, uh, fight, uh, fight against create an anti-British feeling in a way. So that's a... But even before Niraji Palkar, uh, you have played two very significant roles. Uh, you played Shailar Mama in Thimagad and, and a very angry peasant in which I would, what I would call the first realistic film made in this country, Saukari Pash. How, how did it happen? Oh, there is one thing that uh, now this is, see this coincidence, uh, that Shailar Mama at, at the age of my about 18 or 19 year old, I must be there about, uh, I got that, uh, my guru told me that you have to do this role of Shailar Mama, which was about, uh, Shailar Mama was at the age of about 82. The coincidence is this is I am also now 82 and you are asking me a question. <laughs> so, 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 I did that role at that time. And the angry patient role also, then he asked me to do that. And to be very frank, you see, that role in uh, Saukari Pash, Saukari means money lenders, yes. uh, snooze, that has definitely inspired me to make it, make this film medium. Uh, useful for our, for, 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 for the, uh, for the betterment, for the betterment of the society, you see. Or and from say, that day... Uh, should I say enlightenment? Enlightenment, but uh, of course enlightenment, is, uh, of course every story in motion picture will not really entertain you, no doubt, you see. But at the same time, my object of uh, working in that picture also, and my object of uh, uh, my guru, so to make that people aware of these money lenders this and taking them, taking the farmers and out of this, uh, from yeah. the hands of these money lenders. So, but uh, you know, you made films. You I think acted as Shivaji in uh, oh. silent film. Yes. In, uh, I am told you had trouble about uh, oh. that film with the censors. Oh, no, oh, it was. Uh, see, when I started my Prabhat film company in 1929, again that or Chhatrapati Shivaji is in our head, you see, and still now it is in my head, you see. Then I produced that uh, Shivaji picture because at that time very young, you see, and at the young age of, uh, see, he got that fourth tor torana. So I named that picture as Swarajya Toran. But at that time Swaraj was very, a word which was not liked by the Britishers yes. particularly. And when I made that picture and sent it for censoring here, you see, I was not Bombay, but I was in Kolhapur at that time. Uh, then I got a message from my distributor that this picture, there is some trouble about the censor trouble, see, and the whole censor body is going to come and see, because the police commissioner who was an Englishman, he was the chairman of that uh, censor board. board. At that time I was present there, and when he uh, went to that magistrate cinema where in the morning where I have a show, first of all he saw the still photographs which were, were on the outside, and there was a, f a photo, a still photo, of Shivaji saluting the flag, his flag of them. As soon as he, he saw there, you know, this picture, we can't pass it, he said immediately, there, see. But anyway, they went inside, and naturally the verdict was it should be banned. I was very sorry, see. I said, what is this? See, it was nothing, I have not said anything about the Britishers or anything. But actually, they wanted to curb even that feeling, of patriotic feeling also among the people, see. And then, uh, ultimately, with great sorrow, I can say, uh, I have to cut certain portions from that and release that picture in the name of Uday Kal. Uday Kal. Uday Kal. Uh, but, but the effect was uh, the same, you see. I have not, uh, I have to cut it in such a way, I satisfied them, <laughs> but I have not lost stress in that. I did. Yeah, yes, I remember, I saw that film also. Yes. After the advent of talkies, uh, your social commitment became more pronounced. In Amrut Banthan, you tackled the theme of human sacrifice. In uh, Dharmatma, it was a question of untouchability. Yes, as you say, it has become pronounced only because that I am having my independent concern and that's why I started uh, fulfilling that particular mission of mine, that making the cinema medium as, uh, as, I, as I just now said that for the, for our society and for our country. In Amrit Mantan, Though prominently I have tackled human sacrifice, but uh, at the same time I was indirectly I have uh, tried 
even the sacrifice of animals before goddesses and gods. So where Dharmatma is concerned, which was first named as Mahatma, and I tackled it subject of untouchability. But you would be surprised to know at that time, see the, our, uh, certain of our national leaders have formed the governments at different places. That's the way in Bombay also. And that picture, because of the name of Mahatma, it was banned. And at the same time, certain, uh, certain people who are of the higher caste, they also took an objection of this Sant Ekanath, who was the hero of that picture, going to an untouchable house and take meals. So that picture also was banned and had a lot of troubles. Then afterwards, afterwards I have not cut that short particularly, but I had to show them, prove to them that this is an historical fact. But they wanted again certain shots to be cut, you see. I was so much sorry about it, see, that our people are taking objection to these things. Then made small cuts and here and there, and then even the Home Minister at that time, who the Indian Home Minister, he said, you want to get cash the name of Mahatma for this picture. It was so mean of him to say like that, you see. Mahatma word has come not uh, from Mahatma Gandhi's time, see, Mahatma has come, that word has come from long time back, you see, thousands of years, as he used to call Mahatma. But even then, the object to that name, and I cut that name for Mahatma, in particularly in uh, Maharashtra. But in other territories, no other government has taken objection to that name, Mahatma. This, the same picture was released in Bombay, uh, Bombay and Maharashtra as Dharmatma, while in other territories it was religion Mahatma. Uh, did the theme of women's liberation inspire you to make Amar Jyoti? I think, see, at that time this women live, which is now, is there, it was not there. But uh, I can say with pride that I was having that theme that women live, see, women live is at that time also, and just produce that picture. The women should stand on their own legs. Women should also behave in an independent way. Because so many pictures were produced before uh, this Amar Jyoti that the women were falling at the feet of the husbands and they were thinking that it's the God, whatever he's doing, whether he kicks or whether he uh, throws her out to see. Even then, that's the. Uh, these are the things that have inspired me. You see, I should make a picture where a woman wants to have her own independent. Uh, way of thinking as well as way of her attitude also towards the society. The three films you, that you made for Prabhat, three social films, are considered to be the classics. Dunyana Mane, Admi and Padosi. Now in Dunyana Mane, in the original novel, the heroine has a romantic interest. Why you omitted it? some very important and particular reason for avoiding that romantic episode of the novel. What was happening before, uh, most of the social pictures that they were produced, in every picture there is always that romance, love, prem, pyar, mobbat or something like that. I was thinking all the time that why this it is necessary so much, it is so necessary. Are we living, we get a feeling as if that we are only from morning to evening and the night, you see, we are only having love, 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 love like that. So I wanted to avoid it. When the screenplay was ready, I read the screenplay to my partner. And my partner said, Mr. Shantaram, you are completely avoiding this romantic scenes and frame and pair and all these things. Do you think that this picture will be a successful? Because generally people want those things here. Yeah and perhaps it, will go, it is going to fail, or it will, fl it will flop, you see. I said, by doing such, taking such a uh, risk. Last, da, the risk, you see, if it is going to fail, then let it be a great failure. It will but, but it was a great success. <laughs> that is the thing. But funniest thing is this, 
though it was a success, but I did uh, I, when I got letters from different parts of the country. Generally, when my pictures are released, I used to, I used to get, and now I still am getting letters from different parts of the country. One girl from Andhra, she wrote me, and after I saw your picture, I started acting in the same way as uh, the heroine is acting in Dunya Naman. Your picture gave her courage. Courage, courage. And she said, everything is all right. <laughs> but as against that, she said, I got a letter from UP, where a lady has threatened me. Shantanam, what is this you are doing? You are breaking our culture, your traditions and all these things. If you are going to produce pictures like that, we will see that your pictures are not seen by anybody. We will make Satyagraha at the door of the cinema and we will not allow anybody to go there. You see. But I never... I no, but why in your very next picture, Admi, you portrayed a prostitute and uh, you got uh, laurels for it. And in the same picture, you sort of uh, debunked the cult of Devdas. What, what made you do that? No, it is, actually it is not the different of the uh, cult of Devdas as such. But what were is taught in, uh, not taught, you see, what was the, how the Devdas was ended, though it, is, it was a good picture, no doubt. But it is aimed, you see, as if, you see, it was so much uh, 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 tragic. tragic, not tragic also, but it is was giving false, uh, this idea in the minds of the young people, that no, if at all we are in, frustrated in love, we should die, we should commit suicide, we should have a drink, we should go to prostitutes and something like that. It was a wrong thing, you see, that though mm, it was... Uh, I said, see, this is wrong, but it was... Uh, definitely, to a certain extent, it was an answer, no doubt, to answer to or to a retort to that thing, you see. I think the English title of the film was uh, Life is for Living oh, and I, not for Love. No, that is, that is the point, you see. Uh, At the end, here also the tragedy is there, you see, in this mind, this Agni. And the girl that uh, the, the prostitute whom uh, he, he was loving himself and she then sentenced uh, to she, death. She, 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 not sentenced to death for a life imprisonment right. or something like that. And that girl says, you see, don't get uh, frustrated or anything. You should carry on doing your work, you see, because she because she says and that the police who is the hero of the picture, he goes on carrying, becoming Hawaldar and Jamadar. Yeah, that shot I remember. Yes. Marching, 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 marching in life. Marching shot, yes. He is doing his duty. But uh, I feel, I, uh, that I still feel, that should be the real way of this. But after all, what is it, Prem and Mohabbat, it has got some few moments in the life of man, a day or something like that. The, uh, talking of love, in a different sense, the Padosi also was a theme of uh, communal harmony, yes. though, though you never said yes. he is a Hindu or he is a Muslim. Now, did, what impact did uh, uh, this oh, picture have? That was a little, I, at that time you may be knowing that almost every year or alternate year we had the Hindu-Muslim riots, not only in Bombay, everywhere all over the country. And I was very, and uh, as you know that the Britishers were ruling From the day. country by uh, divided and divided, divided, divided rule, see. So I wanted to make a picture on that, and I did that. Uh, even I take care that the Hindu rule was given to a Muslim, Muslim, and, Muslim and a Muslim rule was given to a Hindu, <laughs> only because that so nobody should uh, raise any objection for my certain uh, commitments. And I did that uh, picture only with this intention, and uh, I kept one uh, dam contractor as a representative of the Britishers. Because he wanted to also, because there was a difference of opinion amongst the villagers, and they didn't want to have these things. So he that divide and rule policy, again, here I brought it. it. And at the end, of course, you see, they come to they, 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 these... They are hand in hand. hand, hand, hand they are hand in hand, is that something. But the effect of this picture was so nice, I tell you, that uh, on the first day, when the picture was released in Bombay, a Muslim gentleman came out and he says, Aaj hamare dil ka mail nikal gaya. You know, all your heroines of that era have been very militant. Dunya Namane, Admi and Shakuntala. Now about Shakuntala, you are uh, changing the Shakuntala into a militant movement, create a lot of controversy. How, do you, how did you justify this, uh, your change in Kalidasa's original concept? I, I don't say that I will justify it, you see, but one thing, a question, uh, I will ask those people who were uh, against these things. Eh? Do you know that, you see, the original story in Mahabharata of Shakunta and Dushant? The written by Vyas. Uh, Maha, uh, Maharshi Vyas. Yeah. Kalidas made changes in that story. When Kalidas was 
was on a deathbed i can say when i took it over by that time government asked me whether i will be able to do it to say in a way i was really fond of the children children films production children films. i think in 1930 you made a in 1930 in silent uh, picture i made one silent picture uh, for children say, because i'm fond of that i i always think that the children should go all grow always with good thoughts and everything but when nowadays when i saw what is the things are going on the commercial pictures and the violence and this and that going on at that time when it was i was asked by the government to see will you please take the chairmanship of this and as a sincere man i couldn't say no to that i said yes already i will do it of course i am doing it in an absolutely honorary way not taking even the some benefits chairman benefits i am not getting it at all though i was asked by the uh, uh, secretary that why should not take it i said no let there be one chairman at least who is not taking any <laughs> benefits benefit at least so i started doing it and after i started doing it then i arranging this international festival also my main object of having international festival with children is this that we should know my children who they should know what are the, their brother children are doing all over the world and uh, we should also know as filmmakers not myself only all the filmmakers old young and everybody that in what way the children should be made because i want to get them involved in the children film movement that was my subject in the in the international festival there is uh, one thing i wanted to do you see i was really very much hurt about these linguistic provinces by that you see we have been disintegrated and the more disintegration being done now you see so what i was i am doing I in this interest festivals I make the state governments where I hold this festival invite five five children from each state and come the, the come to come uh, together I uh, see and there were 150 children out and 200 children there they are see and from that we also select some jury I make a international jury of the children while the elderly jury according to international law we have to take the elderly people see but I make that and they select their own pictures and object of my calling the children is to that they should see the picture but the main object is this about the integration all the children they uh, when they come to here see they under yeah. one roof they sit they discuss they talk some children they don't know and and know english how to inspire speak but they speak in their signs and doing all they try to understand the language they don't bother about caste creed whether they are muslims hindus jains or something like that and they eat together dine together and uh, see that that was the so that i want that the children will go with that integration you are now 82 and you have just started a new film aren't you content with your past achievements and do you think you can at this age do a the strenuous work of directing and making a film we said one thing is as an artist i say uh, the contentment is not there not only because when i try to reach the shore of that where i will get the satisfaction is see the i see that it is nearer but when i go there i see the horizon is still going further still going further and i am not really satisfied with that you see and that's why i'm doing it and at this age means what you see uh if i i am in this ocean i must swim i must go on doing it you see and i am doing that picture you see which is called janjar you see uh means there people uh, there is a uh, always misspell janjar and janjar jan, no jan, not janjar means how can they feel that janjar because many people don't know even hind certain hindi people also don't know the meaning of janjar janjar means fire and i want it is a socio political uh, picture janjar means fire of good works should remain burning always you see something like that i am doing it but as the question that you ask me at the age of 82 one thing sir i tell you do when i go for on the set for shooting or when i go for outdoor shooting my this number you see 8 and 2 is always re- changed it's reverse it becomes 2 and 8 as you can see me had mal bar sir ye bande bas jao bola didi kahan gaye itni der kahan laga di wahi अरुण पंडित अरुण आप जो जी को भाई हां 
Okay. 